I done told everybody what I told. I done tried to shed my light on everything, bro. Just watch your back, man. 23 years old. Everything not what you think it is. Analyst. A glow up to me means maturing spiritually, physically, nah, this not mentally, this not Melvin. emotionally. Pre-glow up self was definitely insecure in a lot of ways. Mainly <laughs> for being skinny, having braces, and I got bullied a lot in um, elementary, middle school. Destroy between two points of the straight line. Airplane take flight path. Made no sense. I'm alone. You're in America and you want to take a flight to Saudi Arabia, but the plane flies north and goes over Greenland. I don't know. It's crazy. I work at an airport and that shit don't make sense to me. Look, nothing in life makes sense, bro. School, but at the same it's time, always the it's eyes. I'm telling you, he's Korean. I am today. I don't have a strong record for a successful relationship. I've been in. Hold on. Let me look at this link. This is the last thing I'm going to look at and I'm over it. Wait, this is the flight path? Huh. Huh. It's not even how they're gonna fly that way. It's why are they gonna fly that way? Why wouldn't you just go straight here? Why won't you just beeline straight to Saudi Arabia, but you would wrap around to Greenland? Would that not take longer? Would that not take more fuel? Would that not take more time? I don't know. Like I said, none of that shit matters. I gotta look into this flight path shit after I get off stream. But none of that shit matters. Honestly, something we don't know, bro. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's all I be trying to tell motherfuckers. It's something we don't know, bro. Motherfuckers look at me crazy when I say this too. I'll be like, it's just a chill. It's something we don't know in life. But like I said, I'm over and keep my mouth shut before they take me off the fucking planet. You know what I'm saying? I'm not rich yet. I ain't blow up yet. I'm just gonna shut my mouth. I'm trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? Before they shut me down. Before and I do. I'd so, say like four to five. Two of them. I'm over I've it. I've had situations. Where I ain't gonna say too much I've anymore. Been cheated on, and it's not necessarily something I'm really happy for. But at the same time, I think I've learned a lot from it. I don't know. I've never been cheated like, on. Did I do this, but I mean, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. So excited. Yeah. Let's see these globes, man. I had a pretty nice globe myself. Oh wow. <laughs> I did not expect that. I, oh my. <laughs> in a good way. No, no. I mean this in the best way. But yeah, should I just go into... I love that you're all about safety and you wear your helmet. Yeah, don't nobody give a fuck about that damn there. helmet. I was in Santa Barbara with my family and we were on... I thought she was going to be like a classic white girl. You know? She looks like she'll grow up to be a classic white girl. I, I didn't. <laughs> I love that answer. Number two, um, this is a nice little off angle photo showing the pearly whites. So I really like that. Wearing pearly a fucking really whites. Bright shirt. That's interesting. How is that um, interesting? Because I personally wouldn't have worn that. Oh, when I, was younger. I thought you was going to say it's because she's black. So we all make mistakes, maybe. So I was smiling so big because that was the day that my first nephew was born. I was 11 and my sister and I are 13 years apart. So Damn. It was a pretty big day for it's me like my brother. Um, being a new aunt. So that's why I was smiling so big and had the bright shirt on because it was a bright moment. <laughs> That's no, a good, that's a good so story. Fun of you for wearing that shirt. You liked it, that's all that matters, okay. Yeah, what's the Division 2 on? I don't know what the, Is that a wolf hat? I think it's a wolf hat. Oh, wait, is that... I think that's why like it's like no point of playing Division 1. We might as well just grind Division 2. dyed her hair. Because that's the latest game. was actually a gift from my dad, so clearly you could see like, oh yeah, he dressed me, like he influenced my fashion at the time. And actually I didn't dye my hair. It was like those clip-ons. I was really into like the hot topic type of style. So my fashion was just all over the place. Percent okay, Jesus. Gotcha. I really like that. You were able to rock. Should have been download that shit, bro. You don't bro. have to lie. It's okay. <laughs> we know. No, no. I have, a, I have another question for you, if that's okay. Yeah. Are you currently a furry? No. No. Oh my bad. Okay. <laughs> wow. You thought that's what she evolved I might be to? I'm a little scared by number four because of the smile and the eyes. It might have honestly been. Damn, hot nigga. I see Dunder Mifl Mifl Mifflin. Mifflin. So. Probably an office fan. Yeah, it was a Halloween costume. Oh, that's a good deduction. Wow. I love that. Cool. That's a yes, good ass fucking a deduction. Office fan. Like I liked K 
Kelly Kapoor's character, and that is kind of similar to her in like some senses. So, gotcha. Yeah, wow, that's a good ass deduction. Thank you. Number five. Dang, that's a lot of attitude in that picture. My Hell yeah. I'm scared too here. I was you, don't top, you don't need to have top tier Wi Fi to download something dad early. Took this photo. And have it done. Back then, I was like really introverted. So I thought it was really funny that you said that there was a lot of attitude in it. Um, can I ask why you feel that way? I think Man, legs crossed, holding the drink, glasses. <laughs> look about serious as hell. The way you're sitting too, because the yeah, legs are crossed. It's old lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the pose Not either. Very, very cute. I like that. She's confident in what appears to be a heart-shaped swimsuit. Yeah, I'm not too sure. That's a I big ass kid, about. so she's having a good time. It's gonna be a matters, big bitch, just a pool day, or a thick bitch. Tanning, it's one or the know, other. One He's probably gonna get rid of the big bitch first, got or the black bitch. Too. But there's two black bitches, but the uglier black bitch. The earlier version. It just makes sense. Justice. Oh, okay. And my How grandma is in the background bitch. of that picture. There is no. Ninety first birthday today. Shout out, grandma. This is honestly really hard. Okay. I think I'm gonna eliminate two contestant number four. Sadly, Damn. because I see this, like the polka dots, and I have trypophobia, and so I feel like <laughs> I feel like that. That's trypophobia, an aversion to sight of irregular patterns or clusters or of small holes. Just be doing shit, bro. Like just be doing shit. Like niggas just be making new shit every. Ew! I look you don't like this shit either. Ew! I be seeing like when I used to use like the medias a lot. I'll be seeing like them one little videos like for or like or you get ten years of bad luck. But nigga, you're scared of dots? <laughs> Fucking loser. Hi. Oh my. <laughs> I messed up. Oh, she's not even all that. So nice to meet, nice to meet you. you. Her nose hey, lost me. Been lost. Kamudi, yeah. nice to meet nice you. Too. Oh my god, her nose is crazy. Oh my, oh my gosh, what's your name? Kamudi. Damn, Kamudi. her shit crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be bad. Contestant number one, what was one of your dream jobs? Growing? Astronaut. I honestly Fun fact to be an actress um, most of my life, I would say, until my mom said I can't be an actress. Damn, I'm hell fucking mom. I'm going to her and I'm going to start getting into acting. Hell yeah, that's what you should do. It's truly my passion. Hell yeah. I your decision. I really was going to say, like, you should just keep doing it and try Facts. to pursue your dreams. W. Melvin I'm wannabe. be a pizza delivery boy, because I really liked pizza when I was younger. You're shooting for the stars there. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> hell I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm the next Papa John's. Okay. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what is you got a nice mom. quality you are looking for in a girl? <laughs> Biggest quality the besides the cheekies, of course. I say someone who understands quality is life. Someone who's trustable and not a bot. Cheat on me. Oh. Uh, contestant number two. If there was one thing that you would change about your past, what would that one thing be? The so one thing I changed about my past. I know you didn't ask me, Mr. Melvin 2.0, but I'm gonna answer your question because uh, I'm a great person. I love answering. I love talking, so you know you're giving me the opportunity to talk. So I'll fuck with you, dog. If it was one thing I could change about my past, it will probably be start working early. I'm not talking working airboard ass job. I'm talking like with all the content shit. You know what I'm saying? I was too timid, I guess, too scared to start. You know what I'm saying? I started too late. I mean, I didn't start too late. It's never too late. But I just didn't start when I've been doing. I've been doing this since years and years and years ago. I got my first microphone. I got my first microphone, my eighth grade graduation. I think I graduated in 2013. And I've been on this shit since 2012. I remember making Minecraft videos, my little ass lap, bad laptop on QuickTime Movie. You know what I'm saying? My name used to be IQ Phoenix at the time. And I used to create a little story in game and I'll go in creative mode. I'll spawn in a little feather. And it'll be like a little story survival series I'll make. And it'll be like a dead bird, which is my Phoenix. IQ Phoenix, get it? And it'll be my Phoenix. And then 
I would like it'll be having like sharpest five on it. Like I have like all the OP chance and it was like supposed to be like my Phoenix that died, but it's still with me type shit. More of the story. I just, I was been doing this shit. If I would have locked in, I had a YouTube channel named Breezy. Probably heard of it. Named Breezy. I done did so much. Like I, that was my first channel ever. I got like two, three hundred subs on it. I was my my videos actually getting good views. I was in like a good ass like content creator friend group. We're all just playing, having a good time, and I just was too young on some dumb shit. And I was like, you know what? I want to change my name. My name looks too long. I want a shorter name, OG ass looking name. Changed it and pretty much lost my sauce with that channel. And then I just deleted it. Should never delete it because I want to watch all my old videos back. Fuck! I wish I could watch my videos back. Poor story. I don't. I don't. That's the only thing I say. I don't regret it at all because you know I am where I am today and I'm gonna get to where I gotta get to. Only thing I wish I could change. I would say just letting others opinions influence the I would change get into myself. work fast so that out of fear of being judged I kind of held a lot of my personality back growing that's up. I agree with you so on that one too or I, I would like you have like not real personality you not, and that has nothing to be you with facts be you real word what I would say to myself so really how, like how, how, how do we do a similar. beat was beat? contestant number three your hat kind or of reminded one? me of headphones. What was your um, past music That's taste, a BU, and right? how has it changed today? I had a big boy one band of them. phase BU. growing up. One like As a teenager, I was really into Five Seconds of Summer, and then also I was influenced by my dad's music taste. So like when ACDC would be blasting in the car, I'd feel so cool going down, being dropped off at school. I'm like, yeah, I listen to this. Now I listen Type more shit. of R&B. So I really like Keisha Cole, Janae Aiko, Kelani. That's cool. Uh, ah, really generic. Want, uh, you could tell she uses TikTok now. all day. The boy band? No, no. <laughs> no judgment there, you Definitely. know? What'd she say? Right now. The boy band? Honey? That's cool. Uh, I really align with uh, your music taste <laughs> right now. The boy band? No, no. Man, what? No I used to be Definitely. listening to that One Direction all day. I'm going to play some One Direction today, too. Right now, Ooh, I love that. Sism. <laughs> you could tell five. he used TikTok all day, bro. your dream job growing up? I've always been in love with animals so i wanted to be a veterinarian animals. my first grade teacher kind of crushed that for me um she told me that i wouldn't be able to do eight years of school and so Damn. it kind of crushed my dreams and so i just never thought about listen it bro they crushed my dreams too and they told me i couldn't be an astronaut okay they told me i didn't have 2020 vision they told me to give up that dream way early in like third grade i never you know what I'm saying Damn near lost my like life. I just, you know, I didn't even know what to do with myself, bro. I couldn't be an astronaut, bro. But then I found other interests. Damn, I would have been the first like black astronaut. Yeah, it is, time, but I mean, you know. That's cool that you uh, found other interests. What's your zodiac sign, and do you Aww. believe the stereotypes surrounding it? You want to guess? Uh, sure. Let's um, do it. All right, look how happy she just got to guess. Well, oh my I god. <laughs> well, I don't know. I want to challenge myself. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Run it. So my first guess is gonna be a Capricorn. Yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> Aquarius? No, not a good look. I'm just kidding. A Taurus? I am actually an Aries. What is the Aries? Oh, that like, makes no sense. Yeah. what's the Aries? Like, March ish? Your, yeah, March, right? I think my yeah. sister is Aries. I'm a Gemini. Gemini, like June, June ish. Toxic is what I heard. No. Bro, they say that about everything, bro. Gemini. I'm a great Gemini. Period. Okay, okay. Can Period. I ask a follow up question to that. Of course. Rocks and crystals. Do you like that stuff? I mean, I've read books on it, I but I don't, like, glorify it. But, wait, do you have a favorite rock? I want to know. Amethyst. What do you mean, like, rocks, rocks? Yeah, like, aren't there, like, types of rocks that you like? I kind of do like the white rocks by the train that I use it as chalk. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good-ass yeah. rock right there. <laughs> he okay, fucking with her. Mm. Now, listen, if he says no to her or he kicks her out, racially motivated. They had the best conversation right there. They just wanted to keep talking to each other. If he says no to her, racially motivated. Uh, Get him out of here, racist. Six. What was one of your biggest insecurities growing up? And Probably that she's fat. Honestly, I really didn't like the way my teeth looked, but then I got oh, braces. Good for you, kid. And good. that solved most of it, and now I care for them very well. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. So if we were to go on a honeymoon, what country would you take me to? Shoot, that's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> Nigga like me, I'm not going to say the generic shit, all right? Nigga's probably going to say Dubai, Hawaii, some shit like that, Thailand or something. Nigga like me, we going to Japan. And I would say... Bora Bora, I like. The I was literally gonna say a generic answer was Bora Bora, but Bora Bora cool. Like them huts and shit. I wanna go sleep in them huts. But I don't really like water, so. Okay. Because I've been eyeing that one since I was young. Where would you wanna go? 
Somewhere it would be a complete culture shock, like maybe Morocco or Thailand. I've been to Morocco. Morocco Said Thailand. Beautiful. Morocco's cool though. Shout out to Africans. First person I would eliminate here. He's eliminating two? Would be <laughs> contestant number one. Ooh, I yep, get him out of here. We ain't fuck with all for you achieving your dreams and goals. Personally, I don't know if I would want to date someone who's an actor or actress. Let's see. Oh Hi. my gosh, nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet you. What do you think? Glow up, glow down. Big glow. I, I, she's not no bad. Brainer. Like everyone's gonna be. It's not bad, and I like the name Devin. And the, mm. Yeah, you're good. That helps. It was, it was a win. Not bad. Way. Not too shabby. Sure. Nice, nice meeting, to meeting you. you. That's a decent little white girl. Oh my gosh. Okay. I will pick. He's going with two. Contestant number five. Oh wow, blackies a, are still in. <laughs> Whoa! Racist, racist. Never mind. The blackies aren't in no more. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, racially motivated. Racially motivated. I personally am not a. Big person on that, so. Racially motivated, racially motivated. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Damn, this bitch don't look the same at all. You still So your sign is, what was it again? Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I'm assuming you still are toxic. No. <laughs> I'm not, I swear. I, her voice did not match who I thought she was at all. Contestant number two, what was your biggest inspiration growing up? Or who? I think my biggest inspiration definitely had to be my mom. Biggest inspiration, let me see, let me see. See, I would say the cliche is like my mom or some, my dad or some, but that didn't come till later. That didn't come till probably about like junior year. I would even say after I graduated, I really was like, okay, I look at my so hard. Like, don't. My inspiration, who's my inspiration, dog? Really, my inspiration is just the, like the niggas I watch on like YouTube and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like the Minecraft niggas I watch, or like, like just seeing everybody do like YouTube just really made me want to do that. Young guy, I say them was really my inspiration. I never had like a solid one nigga that I was like, like fuck, I want to be, I want to be on it. I low key like pull inspiration from a lot of different like sources. Um, I make it all into my own kind of beat. All right, your pops. Nine. Man. So just watching the way that she handled the situation and was able to raise my sister and I by herself without really showing weakness um, was a true inspiration. Yeah, hell yeah. He's my number one inspiration. Kind of made me want to give her the I want to be like you when I grow up. Just kind of mimic her strength and how she was just able to maneuver through the world with that. Um, are you a big family person? Are you super? Hell yeah, I'm a big family person. Super family oriented. So like but you said to me, it's just. I, I, it's like I'm a big family person, but I don't really spend a lot of time with my family, but I do love them dearly. Music to my ears, honestly. Uh, big respect to your mom. My parents I call every day. Might be like borderline too much, but like I really like staying connected with my. Damn, I don't even call my mom. Halfway across the space. Every day, I'm like that for real. I'm literally the one that calls everyone multiple times a I day. Like if you don't say I love you, I ain't gonna lie, that's I will too be much. calling back to make sure you say that because you really Facts, never know though. the last time that you're gonna. Facts, she ain't lying, bro. I really like that. Contestant number. If he gets rid of her, racially motivated. Your biggest red flag. <laughs> My biggest red flag is just you'd be on social media doing nothing with your life all day too much. Um, I actually could relate to you in your past like dating history. I actually was recently cheated on. So red flag for me is really when they're not honest. I have a question. That's not a good you. red flag, yeah. dumbass. You said that you recently like experienced being cheated on. How did you cope with that? The best way that I coped. Um, Nigga, he went and go and fuck some new bitches. I was severely depressed at that time. Mm -hmm. I took solo trips to Italy. He had to eat pretty. Nah, this nigga get money. Yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, I journaled a lot. Um, this nigga get money. It's really important to be in tune with your thoughts. And if you write it down, mm -hmm. it kind of allows you to reflect a lot more. I know it's a huge stigma, especially for men, when it comes to approaching like, oh, I need help. I'm not doing well. Mm. What do you think about that? Man, what I think about that now, ain't no such thing. Get it out, nigga. Question. Um, I think it's really important to get help. Based Man, fuck that. Immigrant parents, it's not accepted or really viewed as like a real issue for like mental health. Hell yeah, my yeah, 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 I, I relate. See, this was something we relate on, Brody. Yeah. Going to therapy is also essential to coping. Fuck that that's shit. That's honestly something that I did in the past as well. And it's fuck that. Like fuck all that therapy shit. Fuck help. all that sad nigga shit. <laughs> it ain't no time for that. <laughs> ain't no time for all that. All right, buddy. Three. How you lost me with all that other shit. Changed in the ways that you dressed in the past compared to now, and 
What made that change? My style back then was really following other like people's style. Hey, Mike. Just seeing what my friends were wearing. I would literally sometimes go out and get the same exact shirt as like someone else. L follower, and bro. So I think that was just me like being insecure. And this girl's an L follower. In with like the mainstream style. When I got to college, I made a commitment to myself to fill my closet with clothes. I'm on that same type of shit right now. I'm filling my closet right now. something and I like it and it fits me well and it complements my body. I'm gonna fits me well. Of what other people say. Hmm. Wow. I like that a lot. Am I predicting a little something? It's literally the worst. Oh my god. Damn, two people? I would say if he doesn't pick contestant number six. If he doesn't pick two, racially I'm motivated. Not a big fan. I know you said that when you think of like a honeymoon, you wanna travel and like go to somewhere that's like super culture shocky. But I personally wanna just relax like a whole trip, the whole trip. Hell yeah. Like I don't wanna go to a trip and I'm boring like two on too much. I'm not trying to go chill. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh. Style. Thank you. I like yours too. Thanks. That bitch. I mean, she's still not it, but like, oh. I thought Thank she was gonna you. be a fat ass. I ain't gonna lie. Second contestant I'll eliminate will be contestant number. Sorry, oh, I'm trying to think. I'm gonna say two. He doesn't like blackies. It's okay. We know. Second. Contestant I'll eliminate would be contestant number three. <laughs> Honestly, nothing against you. I love wow. the mental health. Um, talk He's fucking with the black bitches. I think it's really important that we have that conversation. But w Asian nigga. Ultimately, the things that I have in similarity with contestant number two is why I eliminated you. Wow. W nigga. Hello. Hello. Nice Hi. to meet you. Are you a hugger? Oh, you're a hugger. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, these girls are mid, bro. I'm 22. I'm a neuroscience major last year, so... Hopefully. You're very smart. Oh my gosh. Oh. Neuroscience. He's got degrees. Neuroscience is crazy. He's got degrees. <laughs> Neuroscience is crazy. That's some, some brain shit, right? The reason I picked contestant number two, I think I think it was the fact that she had her morals. I think it was really important that to me personally that she said that she's really family oriented. Like that's also something that I hold really closely to myself as well. The similarities are there and I think it in the sense that I gotta I gotta be more family oriented. But yeah. That's something I gotta work on. Hello. Hi. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Hi. Arshana. Arshana. I'm yes. Nick. Nick. Nice to meet you. Cool. I'm honestly shocked. <laughs> Why? Why are you shocked? I don't know. I'm just like. I think the similarities She's pretty though. like the biggest thing for me. So yeah. I really like that. Um, and your answers were really uh, resonated with me. So. Yeah, <laughs> I like your answers too. Cool. It's like yeah. this match. <laughs> yeah, it's like a match. I was honestly shocked. There are so many beautiful and great ladies. So it's kind of cool to know that. Um, but I was really shocked. Honestly, I was back there like, wow. <laughs> I am open to the idea. I feel like we did have a lot of similar qualities. Kind of. And morals and things like that. So I would definitely be. Kind of. of. I think there was a lot of similar. You don't gotta be that generous, uh, bro. And me. So I think that would be definitely in the books for sure. This is the fun part. <laughs> I like, I like that, bro. <laughs> like, real shit. That look like that <laughs> without glasses, bro. <laughs> Why are we, we still filming? I think I was around like in four. Maybe I was in four. Like, that, that, I like, I like that without glasses. A little bit. A little bit. From an angle, really yeah. I did whatever to, to my hair. I think it's adorable. She decent. She's slight like pre. <laughs> but it's definitely a glow up. But she's very mid. Thank you. For sure. <laughs> Thank you. If it wasn't, I would be kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, I know. What a glow up means to me is learning to be comfortable. She was probably the prettiest one. And being happy in the skin that you're in. But ultimately, they were all kind of mid. She was, was pretty really too. Funny. Nah, she lost so me. From an angle, she looked it looks nice. Being really ambitious she looks good straight up, but like her nose is redonka donk. I am today, and like even just moving to LA. So I had big dreams back then, and I'm really glad that she like persisted with them and was you know confident with it. So. Experiencing life and growing from a child to a woman has definitely been an interesting evolution. Um, but I wouldn't change my journey for anything. And yeah, I'm really proud of. I Ben said she was gonna be mid first first motherfucker. Do you want sushi? Yeah. Okay. Man, thanks. Wait, will he give her the Instagram? Uh, Do you want sushi? Yeah. Okay. Man, thanks. If he gave the if he gave the Instagram, he don't fuck with her for real. Sorry. I have a secret account. <laughs> no, stop. We're not talking.